All right, welcome back, episode seven. And let me tell you, renovations take a long time at the best of times, but when you have quarantines, lockdown, a global pandemic, back orders, you name it, all the little things add up and they have made this project last 10 times longer than really it should. But now that we've been waiting so many months, I am so excited that we finally can have a partial day of installation. I'm Rebecca Hay, founder and creative director at Rebecca Hay Design. I've been doing this interior design business for more than a decade, and yet I've never designed my own home. So I'm about to embark on my own home renovation. My goal, to make it sustainable and healthy. Is it possible? I really don't know. But we're about to find out. My family has literally been inside of a reno for five to six months at this point. And it's not even a big transformation. You know, it's interesting because now I know how my clients feel. Here's the deal. I'm always saying to my clients, my team, my design students who do all my online courses that you need to anticipate how your client is going to feel in any given situation so that you can be there to support them. However, to be completely honest with you, until you go through a renovation of your own, it's kind of hard to really anticipate how someone is going to feel. But I can tell you that I now know exactly how frustrating it can feel. You see it on HGTV all the time, right? Like, old house, big surprises, oh ha ha, and in half an hour it's all wrapped up. The reality is in real life, renos don't only take four weeks the way they do in television, and I will tell you that honestly because I used to work in television. I worked designing for two different shows. I worked on the Property Brothers, I worked on Income Property, and yeah, we did turn around crazy renovations in a crazy amount of time. Four weeks usually, maybe five. But that was because it was television. And so you had people committed to just working on that project. You had suppliers go jumping through hoops because it was TV. Real life is not the same, guys. Like triple, quadruple, I don't know, quintuple the time it takes from TV to real. And also when you're over the holidays, because nobody works over the holidays. But what happened was the stairs runner was set to be installed, but then we realized like the stairs were really shitty condition. Last night, I fell down the stairs. Our stairs have shorter treads. They're not to code, they're old staircase. We've always had carpet, so I can see the difference. This is so funny that I'm saying this because I've had older clients hire us to do carpet on stairs so they can see where the stair is in relation to the floor. It was dark, the lights were out, the car seat was in the way, and I slipped and I fell. I banged up my knee, my arm, my foot, my fingers. Like, I broke the tea mug that I was holding, my computer fell. It was a scene. Um, so I'm just ready for it to be done. I'm just ready, I'm like over it. At least there's movement now, things are starting to come together, even though it's in dribs and drabs and not typically how I like to run my projects. We have our stair runner going in, our bathroom vanity going in and it's gonna be so freaking gorgeous i cannot wait the kids rooms have been painted and the kids to be quite honest they already love the changes so so much purple. <gasps> what where's their purple Oh my God, I love it. What do you think of your new green doors, Joseph? I do. You do, do you? Around it, and then like the outside of the windows. like The trim, green. you think all the trim should be green? Yeah, For someone who didn't want green doors, now you want a lot of green. Mm. You like it, don't you? Okay, let's talk about issues. The bathroom sconce light. That honestly, whew, we opened up the box looks so beautiful, but turned out it just wasn't going to work. Beautiful light, oh my God. This is Hudson Valley. We got this through our amazing rep at Universal, except I think it's too big because I don't know where the junction has to go, but yeah. Shit. Cause like by the time I get that, there's another one that goes on the end. Oh my God. It's way too big. It's way too freaking big. 
Well, that's a letdown. Now I have to call my team and figure out where this mishap happened. Yeah. And so we had to reselect and reorder. Hey, Rebecca, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, I'm just here in the bathroom and we are testing out the beautiful sconce lights that we got for the mirror. And yeah. they are definitely too big. So the, the code on the box says 30. So it's, these might oh. be 30 inches, which is basically almost double the size that we wanted. Oh no. So I think so we need to find... The cost is completely wrong. <laughs> okay, so then there's one other thing that was my mistake. Okay. The uh, sconce lights are polished nickel, which I know I told you to order. Yes. But I forgot that I had changed all of the faucets and plumbing fixtures to chrome to save money. So oh, no. now the polished nickel doesn't match uh, the faucet. So this maybe was a blessing. We need new... We need new sconce lights that are in chrome. Yes, definitely. Okay, we will maybe select some new sconces and get those on order. I'll send you some. Okay, I mean, if this fixture comes in chrome, that's awesome. I don't yeah. think it does, but... Yeah, I don't think so. And then we just need to get them as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, of course. <laughs> of course. Okay, thank you. No problem. Okay, bye. I mean, finding things out like that kind of when you're in the heat and the throes of it, it's just par for the course. I can tell you no renovation ever runs smoothly and that is completely, completely normal. We're still waiting on the custom closet. That is gonna be an incredible showstopper. I can't wait to share that with you guys. So this custom closet design really was a combination of different details that inspired me and functionally what I needed for my own bedroom. Also, I'm super excited because Millworks, the company who's doing all of our beautiful Millwork, has invited me to go to their warehouse, to their workroom, showroom, workshop? I don't know what it's called. To see it, to see it all assembled before it is painted. Guys, this is a really exciting day. We are so, so close to finishing this reno. I am here at Millworks. We're gonna have a look at everything. They are staging it for me today so I can see what it looks like all built before it's painted to make sure everything is absolutely perfect before it gets installed next week. I'm so excited to take you along and see this process. Ah, hello Chantal. Hello Rebecca. <laughs> Let me get my mask on. <laughs> it's so good to see you. You too. We're so excited to have you here at Millworks. You have no idea. I've been waiting for this day. I can't freaking wait. Okay. So um, drawings you've seen and approved. Mm -hmm. um, I have them with me just to check any details because not everything will be fully installed. This is the point where we can change if you want to make the rod black instead of silver, like you can still do that. Okay. So that's why we love doing the staging process. Okay. Um, I brought our color chip too, just in case. This is my <laughs> color selection, Benjamin Moore Creamy White. It looks way darker here than it does in my house. Uh, but you know what? The, if, it, if it doesn't work, it's my fault. So <laughs> I think it's beautiful. It's going to look amazing. Um, so maybe we can uh, have a look. Do you want to go? Have you, yeah. Are you like so excited? <laughs> it's now the time. Okay. <laughs> And this is going to be a really cozy bench. We're going to have a cushion made. Ooh. And then this is going to have hooks to hang ties, belts, that type of thing. And then there's these little shallow shelves. I feel like it's time for an update on what's going on because we kind of have stalled waiting on our closets. Um, the bedroom drapery is finally coming today. Uh, this is Joseph's room. We already have these incredible Hunter Douglas uh, drop down shades. They will do like from the top or the bottom, which is awesome because we get privacy from the street when we want. Uh, it's a rainy day here. Uh, we got him 
uh, secondhand Ikea bunk bed that I'm going to customize and tailor. They're beautiful light up there. It's the Hudson Valley um, Mitzi fixture. Super cute. So his room is, is coming along. Closets are done. Um, here we still need to do art on the walls. But isn't that light fixture beautiful? I mean, it's just kind of like a piece of art on its own. Okay. Stairs are still phenomenal. Ugh, obsessed. They feel so good underfoot. And then the bathroom is almost done. Can't decide on the wallpaper. And um, the lights. We've had, we've run into some snags with the lights. Uh, that still needs to be installed and wallpaper. And then this room is done. Oh, and the uh, Roman is coming today. Sarah still needs drapery in her room. And then my room. We've been living like this. Although we moved all the bins to make room for the closet. So the closet is going to go there. Uh, so now I don't even know where my clothes are. I wear the same three outfits all week long. And then I have a couple shirts at the office that I just throw on for Zoom calls because like, I don't know where anything is. <laughs> uh, there you have it. That's the update guys. It's taken a little longer than we'd hoped for. are finally in the final stages. The closet is being installed as we speak. I'm really excited. I'm going to show you the progress and check out the hardware. So this is the gorgeous, wait for it. Oh my God, I can't open it. This is a leather wrapped br brushed brass pull. Uh, by Mayo. It is beautiful. So this will be on the cabinets and there is a knob. Nice, huh? I'm going to take this in and show the guys. The house is like so close. Now it's just finishing touches. <sighs> I can't wait. All right. I'm really excited. This is so cool. Finally, I can stop living out of Tupperware bins and actually put my clothes away. It's been six freaking months. Yikes. It's gonna be so good. I haven't had, cl I've been living out of Tupperwares since mm -hmm. October. Oh. <laughs> nice. nice. Yes! <laughs> That's the installations. That's where we're at. We are so freaking close to the finish line. In the coming weeks, we are finally going to share the reveals with you. Stay tuned. We're going to reveal the beautiful upstairs kids' bedrooms, my bedroom, the bathroom, the whole nine yards. Let me know what you're most excited to see revealed. And I'll see you soon.